this is Vital Daniel and this is the second tutorial in my series of After Effects tutorials for for any level of user. Um yeah, in this tutorial I'm basically gonna just be showing you a little quick finishing touch you can add to your 2D text to make it look a lot more finished and glossier and just better. So first of all you're gonna wanna create a new composition. Uh yeah that's fine, ten eight P, ten second duration, doesn't really matter what the duration is for this. Anyway, create, get your text tool, create some new text. Um, hi. Yeah, that'll do. I've got my text, uh, my font as Honey Script. Okay, go for light for the purposes, sake of the tutorial. You'll be able to tell the difference. You'll be able to see the difference more after than what I'm showing you. Yeah, just bring up title and action safe down here, and uh, align your text to the center. About to fit so we can see the composition at the best size, and then you're going to want to um, basically where this whole tutorial happens is you're going to have to create new layer. I mean, yeah, new layer, new light, and then we're going to want to go for the spotlight, and then no, actually, sorry, wait, the point light. Yeah, and leave it as its default settings. I'm pretty sure that's the default settings. I don't think I've changed it before, and it's uh, and it's used my default settings. But no, I think that's the default for when you first start up After Effects. So yeah, that's fine. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. And then you're gonna want to change this layer, the text layer, to a 3D layer by clicking in this, checking this box, the 3D layer box. So now your text is a 3D layer. If we zoom in, you should be able to see the difference already just by. Oh, it's very hard to see on when I've screen captured. So yeah, so you know, when you do it, you should be able to see a little bit of a difference, not too much. But then, when you grab, you press P on the when you've got this selected, your text layer. Then this is the z-axis, the z-axis. So um, that's what makes it a 3D layer, obviously, because it's got three dimensions now, x, y, and z. And then change z. If you bring that forward a white bit, you can see the, how the light is affecting it now. So if you want to get it, so it's not like so you can't tell the lights on it, but if you change it to about there, and I do this in like loads of my, like pretty much everything I have text in. Well, not everything, but just when it's necessary. If you watch the speed edit I did recently, I used it in that for my friend Jordan on his intro. Um, and then if you just uh, take it off 3D layer and put it back on, oh shit, no fuck, right, don't do that. And we can control Z and undo it right there. And then um, if you delete this uh, light layer, you can tell, like, you can see the difference. That's what it's basically doing to your text. That's the finishing touch. If you can't see that on screen capture, I'm just going to go back to here so you can see a bit better. But that's basically all it does, but it makes it look a lot, a lot better for a lot of things. So if you create a new, you can also do it. You can also use it on your solids as well. So your background. So if I make that, like that, that solid, so and drag it down to the bottom, so it's my background. Then you can also, if you make this into a free layer now, the light will be affecting that too, like that, like so. And then obviously you can, you can just grab your light layer. You can move this around a bit wherever you want it to. Ha and then you just uh, put it to however you feel it affects the text best and the background. So obviously you can see the background's being affected by it. But obviously you're not going to want your text in complete darkness. So yeah, I think that's okay. That's basically it. That's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers, bye.